it's a blue day, but not like I'm feeling blue. It's I'm wearing blue and I'm, I'm feeling it. All right. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma LaFave and today I am giving you a pep talk, partially because I'm not feeling it to paint today and give you a tutorial, but also because I like giving pep talks and I also feel that what I have to say is important for you. So this video is for anyone who wants to create art, anyone who wants to share their art but is maybe a bit nervous to, or anyone who actually wants to make a YouTube channel but is also nervous to. I have a couple things to say and a couple tips, so bear with me here. Okay, so why do I feel the need to give you guys this pep talk today? That's because I feel, and I know personally, as creatives, we can be our own worst critics and our own biggest doubters. Stouters, doubt. Is that a word? I don't know, but you know what I'm saying, right? Are we good enough? Is our art good enough? Are people gonna like it? And I'm here to tell you that there is only one person that you should be making your art for. One person that counts. Can you guess who it is? <sighs> it's you. That's it. It is you. Art can be a very emotional and deep thing. Basically, you are putting your creative heart out there for people to see. Even if they're not seeing it, you are still taking your emotions and your creativity and you're taking it out of yourself and you are putting it on paper. And that takes a lot for people to do. It's even more when you try and do it to please others or to get likes or gain followers or just to make people happy. It can really mess with you if that is the purpose of your creation. Because I'm here to tell you, not everyone's gonna like your art. I know, it sucks. And it's a hard pill to swallow, but there is going to be an audience that will love your art. I promise. The great thing about art is that it is subjective. And while your style may not be for everyone, it is for someone. There is a group out there that is going to love what you do. Whether you are just starting out as a beginner or you're a bit more advanced or you label yourself as a professional, someone is going to love your art. There is an audience out there. And how do I know this? As an example, there was a YouTube channel, I don't know if it's still a thing, um, a few years ago that was called, I think it was like Bread Face, where a girl was literally rubbing her face on bread. She was smushing her face into bread. And guess what? While that may not be my thing, and I may find it a little bit odd, she had an audience for it. There was an audience, and I know that's not art, but there is literally an audience for everything. So I want you to think about that going into this. One, you need to create for yourself. And two, know that there is going to be an audience out there that will love your stuff. Now back to the first thing of creating for yourself. I'm gonna tell you why this is so important. Now, if you go into a tutorial or a video or starting a painting and you are painting things that you don't really enjoy painting, but you know they're trending right now or you know someone else really loves it, I can almost guarantee your work will not be as good as it would be if you were creating something that you actually enjoyed to create. I know this firsthand because there was a time where I was overwhelmed with creating content, creating videos, getting as much out as I could, and trying to please everyone. You know, you had people saying, I want you to paint animals, I want you to paint landscapes, I want you to paint this, I want you to paint that. And you feel this pressure to please everyone. And I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen if you try and please everyone. There is something called burnout. And especially for creators, that is a huge issue. You have to love what you do in order for it to be good. So yes, there are times where I try to branch out and try new subjects, maybe I'm not the most fond of, but I will use that in my videos as a challenge. I will never address it like, I'm gonna show you how to paint this animal because I know what I'm doing. It's, hey, I suck at this, or I feel really insecure about painting this, but let's give it a try and you guys can watch. <laughs> You know, you can try and phrase it like that as a challenge to yourself and people will also enjoy watching you challenge yourself and maybe succeeding and maybe not. So if you did want to branch out and try it that way, that is an option. But if you are continuously creating content or just paintings, you really have to enjoy what you're painting. I feel like in my career now on YouTube, I've been doing this for almost five years, I am starting to finally give myself that little bit of grace that I need to keep going. I need to know that not everyone is going to be pleased with my work or my tutorials, or maybe they're looking for something else, 
but then they can just go somewhere else and find that. Now this is kind of piggybacking off of that video that I did the other week about negative comments. And I do wanna talk a little bit about that because I feel it kind of goes hand in hand with how you're gonna create your art. I want you to keep in mind that you need to stay true to yourself. That is my biggest thing. There was a comment that someone said on that previous video where they said, I have to admit, I have given constructive criticism to a YouTuber before because they labeled their video as a tutorial, but a couple minutes into it, it was just music and there was no instruction whatsoever. I let them know that their title of their video was misleading and it wasn't helpful. Okay. So I just want to address this and I'm not scolding the person because I feel like their intentions were good and you are definitely allowed to have your opinion. But this is one thing I need people to do and I need you to think about before commenting on people's videos. Okay, so here we go. Tutorials come in all different shapes and forms and styles. Okay, there is the tutorial style that I do where I break it down step by step. I'm very basic based. I taught kindergarten, that's my style. A lot of people really enjoy learning that way. I'm gonna be honest, the way I teach is not the way I learn. I actually don't care for long, real-time tutorials. I believe I have a little bit of ADD and my focus cannot handle anything that is more than 10 minutes. Sometimes I actually prefer videos that are sped up with no talking. I'm a visual learner and I like to kind of just see people do things rather than have lots of audio and this and instructions. I like to see it done. Now, that is a tutorial. There may not be any verbal instructions or written instructions, but they are showing, even if it's sped up, how they did it. And that is still a tutorial. So while maybe that teaching is not the best for you, that's not the way you learn, it can be beneficial for others. So telling someone, you know, your title is misleading and it's not helpful, is not really helpful to the creator. Maybe that video wasn't helpful for you, but now you know that that creator's teaching style is not right for you. But that creator's teaching style might be right for me. But what you've done now is you've placed doubt in that person's mind. And these videos take a lot to do. Even if you're just painting and you're creating and it's sped up and you're not actually giving any instruction, you are putting your heart out there and you are placing it on the internet for everyone to see. And that in itself is a lot. And there's also a ton of other reasons why people may not be, you know, giving verbal instructions or even written instructions. Maybe they have severe anxiety about talking on camera. This is not easy for everybody. Fortunately for me, I like to just ramble to the point where it can get annoying. I know where my son gets it now. There are also situations where maybe the artist's first language isn't English, but they're trying to get their art out to an English market. There are so many things you have to consider in this. And I'm not telling you this person's comment to poop all over them. One, I'm trying to get you to think differently, but also as a creator, receiving these comments, because you may get these comments, you have to remember your art is not for everyone. Your videos may not be for everyone, and that is okay. So when you're gonna get these comments of people placing doubt in your mind, don't get overwhelmed and think, all this stuff that I'm doing isn't enough because it is, it is enough for someone. I'm telling you, you're gonna have an audience that enjoys it. And if you start trying to create videos that you think a different audience is gonna like better, you're gonna burn out quickly and you're not gonna be happy and your artwork is gonna suffer for that. So that is majorly why I am saying, majorly, <laughs> that is why I am saying that you need to create for yourself. Do it. Okay, so that was like my first tip. That was a really long, drawn out tip. Okay. My other tip for being a creator, whether you're putting yourself out on Etsy or Instagram or YouTube or TikTok or whatever it is, I want you to remember that things take time because while we may start making YouTube videos or you know we started a public art account on Instagram, you may not be getting the likes or the follows that you feel like maybe you should be getting or you're hoping to get. Again, that's gonna create some doubt in your mind, maybe making you think, my art sucks, nobody likes me. I'm here to tell you again, that's not true. Your art is just not being seen by the audience that would enjoy it. And making yourself seen out there on the internet is a job in itself. So there are a few things that you need to start doing if you wanna gain these likes. I don't want you to get discouraged thinking that your art just sucks or you just suck, cause you don't. You just need to put in a little bit of extra work on getting your stuff out there. Now, just a little reassurance, 
my YouTube channel did not blow up overnight. I started creating videos back in 2017 and my one video that did end up kind of jump starting my YouTube career didn't get the amount of likes where my stuff was beginning to be seen until like 2019. That's two years where I was just sitting on videos and it was going nowhere. My Instagram has taken forever to grow. And now it is starting to kind of pop off because of some things that I have learned to do. Because guess what? The internet and all these platforms are full of algorithms that you need to kind of figure out. And it sucks because it can be really difficult. But fortunately, there are videos out there and creators out there that create content to help you with that stuff. So I'm gonna give you a quick example. Recently on Instagram, they have started pushing reels. If you've noticed that you've been scrolling and all you're seeing are videos, it's because that is what the algorithm is pushing. And unfortunately, or it could be fortunately, depending on what you enjoy doing, that is what you need to do to grow. I personally miss seeing people's photos and just scrolling through photos. That was my jam, loved it. It was also easy content to create. Now they want you to do reels. Guess what I've been doing? Reels. Guess what's been happening? My Instagram account has like skyrocketed and has jumped way further than it has ever done before. Now I don't make any income off Instagram. It's not that it's super important, but what growing my Instagram is doing is pushing people hopefully to my YouTube. So while in the past I may have looked at other creators that I really admire and other artists thinking they have so many followers, you know, I thought my art was similar, they're better than me, people don't like me. It's because one, I wasn't playing around with the algorithm correctly. And two, my work was just not being seen by people who would like it. So that is something you have to look into. If you love art and you wanna grow your business, this is something you just have to learn to do. This is part of the job. For example, right now, I feel like my YouTube has not really increased, it's not really grown too much in the past while, and that's because now they're pushing shorts. They love these short content videos. YouTube is starting to compete with TikTok and Instagram, and as a creator, I'm finding it exhausting <laughs> because I'm trying to create these full length videos, as well as reels. I've started a TikTok. I'm trying to keep up with my audience on my Facebook page. And now I have to take my full length videos and cut them down to one minute videos to create shorts in order to grow. It's a lot. So just know that it is work, but that's not the whole point of this. My whole point was I need you to create for you. That is how you're gonna grow. That is one way how you are gonna grow. My pep talk is to say that I don't want you to doubt yourself as an artist. I don't want you to doubt yourself as a person. I want you to feel like your art and the emotions that you're putting out there on paper are important and special because they are. If you wait until you reach this level or idea of perfection with your art or you feel like you need to be at a certain level to sell it, I'm gonna tell you now you're never gonna get there. We are never gonna be as perfect as we think we need to be. So sell your artwork now. Put out your videos now. Share your artwork on Instagram now because that can also be part of your journey. People can watch you grow and grow with you. So I think that's it. I think that was my spiel. I think I got my point across. I'll probably watch this back later and go, ooh, there was another point. So maybe I'll put that in the comments if I do think of something because my brain works a mile a minute. But if I do think of something, I will let you guys know. I hope that pep talk was peppy and inspiring and maybe makes you doubt yourself just a little bit less because what you are creating is special. It may not be for everybody, but it is for someone. And most importantly, it makes you happy. That is the number one most important thing of why you should be creating your art. So I think, I think that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you learned something and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, click that notification bell so you get notified every time one of my new videos comes out, and then look in the description for all the other platforms I'm on so you can follow me there as well for more. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.